-hmm. Her father was a priest. All right. It was her duty to give attention to her husband's ah. priestly vestments and to their home where godly people came to talk over temple matters. She and Zacharias had no children until God performed a miracle. Amen. Mm. Uh, the definition of vestments is a special article of dress worn by clergymen All right. when officiating. All right. She and Zacharias were similar to Sarah and Abraham. You will remember that Sarah was barren until well in years, meaning that she was unfruitful or unable to have children. Amen. Then God gave Isaac to them. In Elizabeth and Zacharias' case, Zacharias had gone into the holy place of the temple of the Lord to burn incense and to pray. It was in that place and at that time that the angel of, of the Lord named Gabriel came to Zacharias and announced to him that Elizabeth would give birth to a son who should be named John. Zacharias found this hard to believe and he questioned Gabriel. Hmm. So because of his unbelief, hmm. the angel Gabriel gave him a sign and told him, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time, you will become mute, unable to speak until these things hmm. occur. So I'm gonna read uh, Luke 1, 19 Amen. through 22. And the angel answered and said to him, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God, and was sent to speak to you and bring you these glad tidings. But behold, you will be mute and not able to speak until the day these things take place, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their own time. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he lingered so long in the temple. But when he came out, he could not speak to them. And they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned to them and remained speechless. When Elizabeth was in her sixth month, her relative Mary, who is the mother of Jesus, All right was visited by an angel with the announcement that she too would bear a son. Ain't that something? All right. And that she should name him Jesus. And the angel also added, while speaking to Mary, your relative Elizabeth in her old age also conceived a son. This is the sixth month for her, who is said to be barren, unable to conceive for nothing would be impossible for God. And I would like to read uh, Luke 1, 39 through 47. Amen. Now Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste uh -huh. to a city of Judah and entered the house of Zacharias and greeted Elizabeth. Well. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary that the babe leaped in her womb Come on. and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women Come and on. blessed is the fruit of the womb. But why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? All right. For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the baby leaped in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who believed, for there would be a fulfillment of those things uh -huh. which were told to her from the Lord. And Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord. Yes. And my spirit was rejoiced in God, my Savior. Uh -huh. So Mary sets out from her house in Nazareth and she went to Elizabeth's house. Elizabeth and Zacharias lived in the hill country of Judea in a desert tract near the Red Sea. It was four miles walking distance from the great temple in Jerusalem. 
When Mary appeared at Elizabeth's door, Elizabeth knew immediately that there was something special about this visit. Uh -huh. When Mary greeted Elizabeth, as I read to you in the Bible, Elizabeth's child leaped in her womb. Hmm. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. And exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord come to me? Come on. So Mary stayed with Elizabeth for three months, and they had much to say to each other. Mm -hmm. She and Mary shared the common experience of approaching motherhood and joyfully planned for the birth of their sons. Come on. They didn't know what the future held for them. John was about six months older than Jesus, John the Baptist. Elizabeth didn't have any idea that her son John was going to be beheaded by Herod, mm. who was ruler of Galilee, and Mary didn't know that her son, our Savior, would be crucified on the cross by an angry mom. Come on, come on. They had no idea that both of their sons would be executed about the same That's time. Something. Mm. Elizabeth treasured Jesus' word about her son John. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there has not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. Matthew 11, 11. Mm -hmm. Now, as I've told you already, Elizabeth, she was the daughter of the house of Aaron. Uh -huh. And she was honored to bear the name of Aaron's wife, Elisheba, which I didn't know that. Hmm. Which means God is an oath. To Elizabeth, that meant that God's word is all powerful. Elisheba is the Hebrew name for Elizabeth. Hmm. And I would like to also, even though I'm supposed to be uh, talking about uh, Elizabeth, I want to read uh, chapter 57 through 65 because it tells about how um, Zacharias got his speech back uh, okay, amen. after the baby was born. And they asked him um, what was the baby's name. And they thought that he should name the baby something else, but he wrote it out on a piece of paper Amen. that the baby would be named John. And That's whenever right. he did that, then God gave him his speech back. I would like to read that. That's all right, Mom. Okay. Um, now, Elizabeth's full time came for her to be delivered. I'm reading um, Luke 1, verse 57 through 65. Now, Elizabeth's full time came for her to be delivered. And she brought forth a son. When her neighbors and relatives heard how the Lord had shown great mercy to her, they rejoiced with her. So it was on the eighth day that they came to circumcise the child, and they would have called him by the name of his father, Zacharias. That's what they wanted to call him. Uh -huh. They wanted to name him after his father because he was the firstborn son. Uh -huh. His mother answered and said, No. He shall be called John. Come on. But they said to her, there's no one among your relatives who is called by this name. So they made signs to his father what he would have him called. And he asked for a writing tablet and wrote saying, his name is John. So they all marveled. Uh -huh. Immediately his mouth was open and his tongue loosed and he spoke, Come on. praising God. Praising him. Then fear came on all who dwelt around them. Uh -huh. And all these sayings were discussed throughout all the hill country of Judea. And all those who heard them kept them in their hearts, saying, What kind of child would this be? Come on now. And the hand of the Lord was with him. Yes, it was. Now his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Spirit Come on. and prophesied, saying, Blessed is the Lord, God of Israel. For he visited and redeemed his people. 